Hey YouTubers, today we are going to do a full review of the LED Star AQWS series light uh, that we have over here. We will unbox the contents uh, of the light, uh, look at the build and the specifications of the light, do a quick demo uh, of how it looks on tank and uh, close it out. So let's get started. Comes in a standard brown box like all LED star lights, uh, nicely packaged as well. Uh, you see the light and all the other accessories inside. So let's take a look at each of this uh, individually. The power adapter and uh, power card, Bluetooth controller and the manual for setting up the app. Hanging ropes if you want to hang the unit on the tank. Also mounting legs if you want to mount it uh, on the tank instead. Only works for 60 centimeter tanks though. And of course the main light unit. So let's take a look at the build of this light. I'm personally very uh, happy with uh, how this uh, light is built. Uh, I have used uh, lot of LED units including the ADA units, uh, the Chihiro's units and it's right uh, at the top. The only I think other light uh, in this category that I have not used is the Ultim uh, Nature's one. Uh, so I got to try, try it out but this sits right at the top of the line for uh, you know all of the lights that I've compared. But why? Several things. First of all the build quality. It is built with 6063 aviation grade aluminum which is excellent for heat dissipation and it also provides a nice sturdy build you know it, you can feel the weight of it in the uh, hand uh, i mean it's not heavy but you can feel that it's nicely built you you get that feeling uh, and the housing is uh, very sturdy and solid uh, it's uh, brushed aluminum uh, with a glossy gray finish so it looks very stylish very high end uh, if you can see uh, uh, there is perforations on both sides for the heat to dissipate. Uh, you can also see the heat sinks which are built inside uh, and this is built along the length of the unit but uh, this is uh, built inside uh, the housing itself. Good thing is there is no fans uh, and I don't like the fan. Uh, this is very quiet, no noise at all. Uh, love it. At the top of the housing you have this uh, channel uh, and it also comes with the legs for mounting um, the wires if you want to hang it. Uh, this is just a plastic tab to keep them in place uh, and uh, you just need to slide them, position it uh, where you want to and uh, then uh, screw in the uh, cover for the legs uh, along with the uh, wires uh, to hang them so pretty simple let's look at the other side so again very consistent with all led star lights you can see the build quality of this i mean you can see it's all aluminum no plastic anywhere uh, of course inside these units are rated at ip68 waterproofing so they can withstand up to 1.5 meter or 60 inches underwater without uh, getting any kind of water damage in the waterproofing is done with a high quality silica gel that's uh, built in and molded inside the entire length covering everything the led chips uh, all the other wiring and uh, uh, all, all the circuits that's built in. Good thing with that is that you uh, do not lose any light. The, the silica gel uh, is uh, very high grade so it's not going to yellow over time. Uh, it's not going to age. It doesn't create another layer like an acrylic cover would do so there is no light dissipation and I really like. These are RGBW uh, units. Uh, they use both uh, RGB as well as white LED chips. And uh, the white LED chips are uh, 0.5 watt Cree 5050 LED chips. The uh, RGB chips are Epistar 5050, 1.5 watts. The thing about RGBW compared to RGB lights is that they, pro uh, they produce higher PPFD per watt and also provide higher CRI than RGB light. The light unit is controlled by an app that's available on iOS and Android with a four channel color mixture on the app. It can realize up to 
16 million color spectrum so you know a lot of potential on how you want to combine the different colors and uh, get the right setting that makes sense for you i will be doing a separate video just to demonstrate how the app works and how to use the app uh, there will be a link below in this video so do take a look at it uh, this only comes in one size ws60 as they call it uh, it's uh, 54 centimeters long uh, 26 centimeter wide and it's about four centimeters thick it provides 7800 lumens for 126 watts that's a ton of light uh, and it uses a 36 volt dc power source um, it has 60 white led chips you can see the ones at the center on both sides and uh, it also has got 80 rgb chips and those are the two rows on uh, both sides of the unit that you can see uh, and uh, with all the color mixing that you can do it uh, can produce between 1000 to uh, 18000 kelvin color temperature or corrected color temperature now let's look at how it looks over a tank and how do plants look under the light There you go. I personally really love, I'm running two of these units on a 150 centimeter tank myself. Really love how the plants and the tank looks. Um, this is the top of the line lights from LED Star. Best suited for deeper tanks. Uh, you know, I personally recommend it for tanks 18 inches or more deep. Um, one unit should be sufficient for a 60 centimeter or a 90 centimeter tank. Uh, with uh, you know one additional unit for every 30 to 60 centimeters they are on right so for 120 I would say two and then for 150 also I'm using two and 180 centimeter tanks uh, would need three units thanks for watching this video uh, comment below and let us know what you think uh, like it and share it and do subscribe to our channel that's all for this one take it easy bye for now